Now, here is an act you may well have seen over the last few years uh, in a theatre near you, heading out on tour once again, uh, and since uh, they started, oh, blimey, over 30 years ago, I think, have become viral sensations. I think we're going to hear a bit, little bit of uh, one that got 25 million hits on YouTube for fascinating Aida called Cheap Flights. We received an invitation in the post one Monday morn to attend our cousin's wedding in the town where we were born. The dew was back in Kerry, so wishing to be frugal, we trawled the net to find some decent travel deals on Google. Cheap flights, cheap flights, cheap as they can be. Be dad, we found an airline selling flights for 50p. Diddly died and died and died and died. Well, we clicked onto the website and were mightily surprised to find the actual cost wasn't quite as advertised. <laughs> We'd forgotten airport taxes had also to be billed, but a bargain is the bargain, and Bagara we were thrilled. Cheap flights, cheap flights, stands to Tralee. At isn't every airline offers flights for 50p. Diddly died and died and died and died. Diddly died and died and died and died and died and died and died. Studying the website, we decided it was best to pay priority board and so the tweets it three abreast. Three abreast, that's the best. And of course, we'd all have luggage, so that's an extra cost. And then we paid insurance in case our cases might get lost. Our cheap flights, cheap flights, it's obvious to see. There must be extra charges when the flights are 50p. 25 million hits on YouTube and Facebook for that and other songs as well, some of them quite rude. Uh, the world's greatest cabaret trio, it says on their website, and why not? Lisa Pullman, Adele Anderson, and with us on the phone, Dilly Keen. How are you, Dilly? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm um, really well. I really enjoyed uh, hearing that again. It definitely hit a chord with people, booking on <laughs> online and then realising there may be hidden charges on this flight. <laughs> Yes, um, but that was in the before times. I think because, uh, now the charges are different. So uh, you, you have to have your lateral flow tests. Oh, like that's that. true. But very appropriate, yeah. as we've been doing a phone-in about the climate change uh, report as well. So uh, there oh, may be right. a well sequel to that possible. Uh, listen, how many years have you guys been together, Dilly? Because I've seen you a couple of times on the TV. I haven't had the pleasure live, I must say, but I will rectify that. But how long has, as a threesome have you been going now? Well, I'm, I heard you in your intro say it was over 30 years. It is indeed. It's can cantering on for 40. It's 38 years. Wow. Fantastic. What brought you yeah. all together in the first place? Other, obviously, your love of uh, uh, music and comedy, but how did the band get together, so to speak? Well, I'd say it was desperation, but no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we got... Um, it was one of those things that sort of happened gradually. I mean, I could I could sort of describe in chapter and verse the kind of detail of the the little acorn that grew into the big oak tree. But it was one of those. It, we sang. I sang a bit with friends, and we sang in the local wine bar, and that went very well. You know, when we were, um, my friends were in the West End, and I was you know, earning a living playing the piano around the around the clubs and, and bars in North London, and 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 it sort of went from there. And we started writing the odd song together, and then we started. There was a the big explosion of all those alternative cabaret venues like jongleurs yeah and we sort of auditioned and we were we went and we were immediately put on as sort of as the headline act because we you know we, we were very had lots of loud jolly songs and um it sort of went from there and the next thing was we were playing art centers and then we were playing big theaters so that's sort of how it happened um it, it, there were a lot of uh, 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 sort of changes on the way though obviously because the the, the original trio that i started with um uh lizzie who's, who started with me who was a very good friend of mine i used to sing with when we were at drama school together she went back to canada so she had to be replaced and so on and and you know, people would say i you know they, they would leave after a while after you know they'd sort of exhausted themselves doing it but it was always my my big idea and I just sort of kept it going. And Adele uh, um, joined us about nine months after the actual um, group formally started. And uh, uh, she's been with me ever since. And you've written a lot of the songs over the years, Dilly. Are you the, the predominant songwriter, or is it collaborative between the three of you? Well, it is collaborative, but Adele um, once described it as I'm the builder and uh, she's the, the... I'm the architect and she's the builder. Um, and uh, that's quite a good way of describing it. Um, so yeah, no, it's it, it is uh, it, it is a team effort. We're actually holed up in Cornwall, staying with Liza at the moment, um, uh, trying to sort of update the show because obviously it's uh, 
18 months since we last did it. So yeah. some of the that's going to be a big release, isn't it? Getting back out there again. A lot of performers we've talked oh, to have said, yes, fantastic. Oh, yes, will. I'm trying to write a new song. We've tra written a new song about COVID holidays. Oh, it's quite fun. Um, <laughs> that will, yeah, also to resonate. Do, do you find, uh, well, you may have found maybe back at the beginning before you, you got better known, because it's a cabaret act and people expect a little bit of glam and a bit of music and, you know, something to, to make you jig around. But because occasionally it gets a bit rude, I'm thinking about the don't be a four-letter yeah. word at Christmas yeah. song, a word that yeah. would get me instantly fired from BBC Radio Solon. Do you of find over the years pe people have gone, oh, my goodness, this is not the filth. I paid to get in and see. Have you, do you ever get walkouts, or do, in general, do people not go much, along with not it? Not much, but occasionally people do go. Disgraceful! They were so nice when they were younger. And you really, they want to. <laughs> <laughs> No, they, in general, they, 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 they get the gag as they go along. That's absolutely fine. You're a Portsmouth girl uh, by birth, I'm told, Dilly. So that's, I am. I that's am fantastic a to hear. Girl. Yeah, you, so yeah. you've got a homecoming gig on this latest tour uh, in September, 21st of September at the King's Theatre. Is that, is that pleasant for you as someone Pompey born and raised or born anyway? It's a, well, it, well it's, a, it's a double thrill because, A, I was Pompey born and raised and I haunted the, the, the stage door as soon as I was. Uh, old enough to be allowed out to the sweet shop. I would make my way to the sweet shop and then go and chew, chew them with my autograph book outside the <laughs> door. My mum would say, you were a long time getting sweets. And I'd go, mm, yeah. <laughs> and, um, you know, I was, I was just haunting the stage door. And then I, I tried to work there. And, and um, as soon as I was uh, legally able to work, I, I worked there. So and, you had to hang, now, hang around the footlights. I'm now one of the patrons. Oh really? Oh, that's yeah. fantastic! Oh, very well I was involved there in the this week for the for the for the um, sort of big big uh, panto launch day. Um, so yeah, no, it's it's a, it's it, it's my favourite building in in the whole wide world. Oh, well, that's lovely. But Adele from the group is Southampton, I'm told as well. So you've got both ends of the M27. Well, she was born in Southampton. Yes, yes. Well, oh, okay. I, well, I've forgiven her. <laughs> that, it, it happens in this part yes. of the world. You do get I these know. little fracas. Uh, Would you say brought, brought up in Somerset? Would you say, Dilly, tell me if you think I've got this wrong, but I never see Fascinating Aida as, as a TV act. I've seen you on television over the years on, on comedy shows and that kind of things. But really, to discover your brilliance and your comedy, you've got to get off your butt and get into a theatre. Would you say that's fair? Uh, we are never, ever on television. I we remember very, you on TV. Very, it was a few years ago, admittedly. But, uh, no, it's, uh, decades, decades. <laughs> um, and seriously, we, are, we, we cannot get television for love nor money. It's, it, it's one of those curious things, but there you go. Um, okay. uh, you know, people say, you should be on telly. We go, yes, mm. but, uh, but nobody has us. Uh, okay, no, well, you, you never know. Some producer will be listening. Really, really don't work. It's quite difficult to make them work on television. And, and to be honest with you, our forays into television have often been rather sort of disappointing. We did a, there was a documentary about us about 400 years ago uh, in 1904. Um, and uh, that, was, uh, that made our name. It was fantastic. Um, it was a 40 minutes documentary and it was, it, it was brilliant. Um, but actually, that's the kind of thing that needs to be done. Just filming the songs and, it, it, you know, it kind of doesn't work. Because there's always somebody who gets, you know, uh, there's so much hardware between the show and the television screen and people making decisions. You know, there'll be a picture of my hands on the piano when actually Adele's got the gag. Right, um, so they don't, they, they don't know the material well enough to do it justice, perhaps, when they're directing I, I think so, yeah, and they're, they're in a hurry or whatever, um, you know, trying to deal with the script. Uh, yes, it, it, so it, it's never really worked for us. Um, which is a shame, but there you are. Uh, we'll, we, we've, you know, we've risen above it, and we have a wonderful. No, absolutely. Life. Well, people can get out and and see you live as you're meant to be seen. Lisa, Adele, and Dilly coming to uh, the Kings. I'm just going to say for, for the for the listening millions, it's Liza. Oh, I do apologise. It's a Z in the middle. Don't isn't worry, it? don't worry. Uh, uh, she's she's used to it, but okay. Uh, we, we <laughs> no. All, I, with a surname like Sissons, Dilly, you think I would be sensitive to people saying your name wrong and indeed spelling it wrong, so I'm glad you put Aww. me right. Twen 21st of September at the King's yes. in uh, Portsmouth, where Dilly's heart resides, and in Southampton as well, I think, uh, in yes. October, uh, yeah. the 14th of October, I believe, at the Mayflower. Dilly Keane of Fascinating Aida, what a pleasure. Thank you for coming on. Thank you.